<laughs> hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in uh, today's tip, this is uh, pretty cool actually, uh, we're going to show you how to apply door panel chrome to your door panels and uh, we actually bought this chrome from JC Whitney um, and applied it to the door. You can actually go to your local AutoZone or Auto Parts store, they might have these rolls as well. Here's a 56 door panel that we're going to apply it to. Now they do sell the real trim to go poke through the upholstery and to fasten behind the door panel, but uh, whatever we were searching for, we're out of stock or it was just a little too much money. So here's the roll from JC Whitney, which is actually cheaper. Uh, just look up automotive trim. And then here are the clamps you're going to need tape measure and a ruler. Um, so what I'm doing here is I bought this from West Coast Classic Restorations out in California where they do the pre-read correct door panels and when they give you the door panels without the chrome on it uh, they actually punch uh, they have little holes that are through the board uh, so you can apply the real chrome to it that they sell um, the real chrome actually pokes through the upholstery and fastens behind the panel like I said we couldn't find any that were in stock so we went ahead and bought the rolls of chrome from J.C. Whitney. Um, basically, um, on these 56 and 57 door panels, they, there's no stitching on the upper portion of the uh, door panel, like uh, 55 and earlier, or even 60 and later. So we punched the holes through the door panel to give us a good indication of where to apply the chrome. If you have some stitching, um, or you don't have those holes punched through the door panel you can actually just measure uh, six inches down you can see here on a 60 door panel there's some stitching on the top here so it's easy to kinda apply the chrome to the next stitch down but we didn't have stitches on this door panel so we're going to use a ruler and we measured six inches from the top down as you can see here okay so once you measure that you want to do it on one end of the board and then check again on the other end and then once you have that lined up get these clamps to hold the ruler down you don't want that ruler to slide and then just double check of course your measurements Okay. alright now once you have that fastened down you can basically get ready to put the roll on. Here's a close-up view of um, where we poke the holes and like I said I, those holes are already poked for us from the shop where we get the upholstery from. So Now here's the chrome trim that you can either get from JC or get from your local auto parts store and it has an adhesive uh, sticky side to it on the back. But what we're going to do is on the edge here instead of leaving it square like that we're going to make it rounded so it has a more of a finished look to it. Now most bugs had the chrome on their door panels up until 59. After 59 they did not have the chrome on there. Uh, but then they mysteriously came back again in 1966 for just one year. Um, but you can apply this to all your door panels. It's usually, you know, of course it's about, like I said, six inches from the top down. It has a nice rounded edge there, so that's the way you want that to look. That looks good. It's usually about six inches down and below the window cranks and the door pull. So here you want to um, apply the chrome just to just you know testing it, but you don't want to go all the way to the edge. You want to leave some space. Don't go all the way to the end of the door panel. Back off just a little bit. Then we measure the size and then we cut the strip. You might want to roll it out and try to flex it out straight because it is rolled. So uh, my father there is trying to stretch it out so it gets rid of that uh, unraveled feel to it. Just butt it up against the ruler and start taking off the sticky, uh, taking off the uh, piece of plastic to, uh, you know, to expose the sticky uh, side to it, the 3M, which is a pretty good stick. Um, and if you press down good, it's, it's going to stay on there for <laughs> almost forever probably. Um, but right now we're just applying it lightly and as long as we just kind of get like a rough uh, rough estimate here as I guess you would say 
and then once you have it down secure it up against the ruler this is to keep it straight because these it is flexible and bendable this stuff so you want to have a straight line All right, so you just put it up against there and then once you're satisfied with the, the line you just press hard and push it down and that's basically it and it looks nice and like I said you could do this on any years really um, Once you take uh, the clamps off, take the ruler off, and there's your uh, finished door panel. And it adds more character to it, you know, especially 56 and 57. There's no stitching up on top of those door panels if you get the correct period uh, door panels. So you put that chrome up there and it adds more life to it. And basically you do the same thing to the rear door panel. Um, just measure down and uh, make sure it's lined up. And uh, towards the back of the door panel, some some panels actually curve downward a bit as you can see I'm gonna zoom in here for you so you get a better idea but they also had holes punched in the back so see it kinda of curves slightly down towards the back but alright so that's it I uh, got any questions email me chris at classicvwbugs.com uh, or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com.